for me, it's, it's, it's not a, the job is not done. Um, but what it means and what I hope people take from it is it doesn't matter how busy you are. It doesn't matter, you know, how hard your life is. Everybody can volunteer a little bit of time to make a difference in the community. It's kind of a nice starting point for a player like youth. So it's like they give us like a variety of like choices on what to do. Like we can paint the wall, we can assist at a movie night, we can help out the elderly. It really gives us like a broad spectrum of things to choose from if we want to give back to the community. So I think by pushing, continuously pushing that, you know, there, you could be positive. It doesn't have to be gangs or drugs and all of this. It shows you that if we put our minds to something, we can create change. We've developed a proven model. It works. We've done it. And I would just like to see it like in other communities and for more people to benefit. And so, you know, the whole country could be united. What's engaging me all the time to help and work with youth is that I see the programs and services available to youth, but they're so scattered that I go and try to make sure it becomes accessible to those youth. Sharing our stories was, was really important. There is a much more a feel of, a, of pride of place. There's more connection between the solitudes um, and a lot of, of, of friendships have been formed. The project takes into consideration the trauma and the violence that a lot of generations have seen in the Somali community. So Rajo um, actually means hope in Somali. And so my hope is that we're instilling hope within our communities. I know that in Canada, Indigenous uh, people, specifically women and girls, make up about 51% of all human trafficking statistics. The passion that I have for this work, it, it really comes from having such an amazing team that I work with that does a lot of the background work, so I'm, I can be front and center. Initially, I started with Young Men Leading Change because I heard the fact that women, like every one in three women in their lifetime experienced sexual harassment or sexual abuse. And that really was just eye-opening for me as it's an ongoing issue within our society. And I, I felt like as a male in my society, it was time for me to step up and really speak on that.